Hi, welcome back to another Friday where we're talking about managing our anxiety during this difficult season. And today I want to talk a little bit about anxiety in kids because we have a lot of kids right now, especially here in Southern California, who are still doing a lot of online learning. And your state may be more or less open depending on where you're at, or maybe you even cho chosen for your kid to continue doing online learning. Whichever is going on, the, the reality is there's probably a lot of stress that they're feeling and a lot of anxiety that they've been feeling as a result of everything. I know my kids have been feeling it. Schooling has been difficult. It's been a challenge. It's been an adjustment that uh, they don't necessarily want to make. And so then helping them work through it to make the appropriate adjustment and challenge can be a little tricky at times because we want to be supportive of our kids. We need to be aware though of what anxiety looks like and how it shows up in our kids. Yes, anxiety is about the fear that they have and being able to help them navigate and walk through that. Um, it could be this constant worry that kind of nags at them as well. And it can really show up physically. It could show up in their stomach where they just have this constant stomach ache. Um, maybe they are even throwing up and um, it's just getting to that kind of a level. They could have a constant headache as well and feel like they just need to lay down for a while. Or maybe they're just very short tempered and it seems like they're always angry. That could actually be a sign of the anxiety and the stress that's really building and, and um, coming to fruition for them and not knowing how to deal with it. For our young kids, not knowing how to deal with it is, is a really a key thing. They are very reactive. Small kids are very reactive and they don't have the cognitive ability to truly be able to think through what would an appropriate response be in the moment. So their behaviors take over for them. In those situations, it's always best to help them calm down. And once they're calm, once they've been able to deep breathe, once they've been able to kind of get to a normal level place, then we can talk through it as best we can with them. The older our kids get, as we move into the teenage years, the goal is for them to be able to start regulating, recognizing, and then regulating their anxiety for themselves. And next week I'll talk a little bit more about preteens and teens because that's a whole different whole different conversation. But for now, just think about for the kids you have, maybe they're your grandkids, maybe they're their kids in your, your classroom, virtually, um, whoever it is, if you have kids around you and they're feeling all this extra stress and anxiety due to it, I just wanna encourage you to practice some of the things Things with them that we've been talking about works for us as well. First off being the ability to deep breathe, to be able to slow down, to be able to slow our breath down so our, we can slow our thoughts down. And then the other thing is to help them see the truth and the reality in the situation. Yes, we don't know when, if this is going to end. We don't know what the future holds. The reality is we never have. And so it's an incredible opportunity for us to be able to point our kids back to the one who does know the future and who has walked this road with people for centuries before us, and that's God. And when we take them back to God and we begin to model that for them in this time, we're not only helping them walk through something difficult right now, we're also giving them a way to be able to continue to walk with God through the rest of their lives. I hope this encourages you and that you have a wonderful weekend ahead, and we'll talk next week.